Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I want to thank each of you for joining with us for Wednesday's Daily Bible Study coming from Charlene's Outreach Ministries. We have a great and powerful lesson for today. Jesus breathed his last. Jesus breathed his last. Coming from Luke 23, verse 44 through 49. This is a great and powerful lesson. <clears throat> if anyone, if you ever dealt with a close one that uh, you know has left has has, de has deceased and dealt with uh the upcoming uh doom that it, you feel when they're breathing their last you 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 feel anxious you you're terrified all these things i can only think of this that you know jesus but with Jesus, it's the opposite because as he breathes his last, then it is beginning the next step to him bringing salvation unto us. So his last breath was the beginning of our first breath in him powerful lesson we have for this morning. I want to, uh, before we get started, I want to ask if anything is said, touches your heart, soul, or spirit. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to jot them at the bottom of the screen below, and I will get to them as soon as possible. Also, if you would, subscribe to my channel and join with us as we gather together to study and meditate on the word of the Lord. Amen. Also, if you would, give it a thumbs up that uh, let that YouTube algorithm know that there's people out there that enjoy listening to the word of the Lord. Amen. All right, we're going to get ready to move into our lesson, but first we're going to have prayer. Dear God in heaven, we thank you, Father. We thank you for all the many blessings that you bestow upon us. We thank you for making a way out of no way. We thank you for leading and guiding us in your true path of righteousness. Lord, you are our light and our shining armor, and whom shall we fear in Jesus' name? Lord, we ask you to go with us, stand by us. Hold us in the hollow care of your hand. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you for being with us as we go out and when we come in. We thank you, Father, for uh, uh, allowing the Holy Spirit to reside in each of us, Father, that has received you as your Lord and Savior, that we may have the unction in it of making the right step, doing the right thing. In the mighty name of Jesus, that we may get closer to you, that we may be uh, have a love for you to the point that we will do what the Word says is not just say we love you but have a love walk with you father to the point of doing your will in the mighty name of jesus lord as we go in your word father we we thank you that you open our eyes that we see and our ears that we hear and we have that spiritual hearing and we gain wisdom, knowledge, and understanding from on high in the mighty name of Jesus. We give you honor, glory, and praise in Jesus' name we pray. Amen. I also want to uh, add that if you uh, would like prayer, please uh, let me know and I will add your name to the prayer list. Amen. All right, we're going to get ready to move right into our lesson. Jesus breathes his last. Jesus breathes his last. Now, lesson is coming from Luke 23, verse 44 through 49. Man, the scripture lesson takes read. And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour. And the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. And when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he said, Father, unto thy hands I command my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. Now when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, Certainly, this was a righteous man. And all the people that came together to that sight, beholding the things which were done, smote their breast, and they returned. And all his acquaintance and the women that followed him from Galilee stood afar off, beholding these things. 
powerful, powerful lesson we have this morning. Amen. As we move right into the word of the Lord, uh, uh, speaking on uh, Jesus breathed his last, the death, the actual moment of his death. Amen. Verse 44 and 45 says, And it was about the sixth hour, and there was a darkness over all the earth until the ninth hour, and the sun was darkened, and the veil of the temple was rent in the midst. As we see, it's three hours of darkness that takes place. Darkness covered the whole land or earth. The Greek can mean either from the sixth hour until the ninth hour. That is from noon to 3 p.m. This was a sign to the nation of Israel. They had rejected the light and now they would be judiciously blinded by God. The veil of the temple was torn in two from the top to the bottom. You, you can only imagine. And this hand was not uh, a thin piece of material. That uh, a man could tear uh, uh, in two. Nevertheless to say a woman. No one could tear it in two with their hands. But this veil was cut in two. From the top to the bottom. Not cut but ripped in two. The veil of the temple was torn into from the top to the bottom. This pictured the fact that though the death of the Lord Jesus Christ, through his death, a way of approach to God was open to all who would come by faith. Hebrews 10, 20 to 22. This was the opening for us to step in. Verse 46 to 47, and when Jesus had cried with a loud voice, he says, Father, into thy hands I command my spirit. And having said thus, he gave up the ghost. Now when the centurion saw what was done, he glorified God, saying, certainly this was a righteous man. You know, that, that's a powerful statement. The centurion said this. You know, the the the, um, the religious folks, uh, I can only imagine, they wasn't going to stand around to, to see him uh, die. But if they had been standing around, they, they, I, I can only see they, their mouth dropping. And, and they, 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 you know, they in, in, in awe of what has just taken place. It was during these three hours of darkness that Jesus bore the penalty of our sins in his body on the tree. At the close of that time, he committed his spirit to the hands of God. He gave the time, said, now it is time, Father. Now I turn loose. I have completed the work. His father and voluntarily yielded up, yielded up his, his life. A Roman centurion was so overwhelmed by the scene that he glorified God, saying, certainly this was a righteous man. This was the son of God. Amen. Verse 48 and 49 says, And all the people that came together to that site, beholding the things which were done, smote their breasts and returned. And all his acquaintance and the women that followed him from Galilee stood afar off beholding these things. They got to see things um, uh, with their own eyes of what taken what had taken place that that no one could say uh that the the the, the veil had been torn in two by someone because no one could actually reach up there and tear it into but it was torn to uh 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 by the hand of God the whole crowd was overcome by an awful sense of sorrow and foreboding. Some of Jesus' faithful followers, including women who followed him from Galilee, stood watching this most crucial scene in the history of the world. To see uh, when Jesus Christ gives his, 
uh, uh, announces it is time that he gives his spirit over to his father. And, and, and now uh, the, 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 the darkness is all up on the land and, and now the, the, the veil is, is ripped in two. A powerful lesson that the door is now open. I've, I mean, as to say, Father, I've opened the door. I did what you said. I completed the task. I continued until I ripped the door open like you told me to. Lord, powerful statement. Let us be determined. No matter what others think, no matter what others feel, we have to realize we have to do. We have to be about our father's business to be sure that we complete the task that he has given each of us to do. Amen. Powerful and wonderful lesson. I pray you meditate on this lesson and have a great and blessed day. God bless you.